Okay, so boom, this is the story of, <laughs> don't play, <laughs> Tony Ray. This is after I got off of maximum security, even though I wasn't supposed to be on maximum security. And if you don't know what maximum security is, they let me know. You ain't never been to the penitentiary. And if you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go to the penitentiary so you don't have to find out what 23 and 1 is. So going from 23 and 1, I was supposed to be going to 22 and 2, but at Turner Center, it was still 23 and 1, meaning you get out of your cell one hour a day. Now, y'all done heard me tell y'all about H. Cool, who was on the right hand side of my cell. We both come from Northwest together. He was the first person that let me get on that toy. That's my guy. He, I ain't gonna say what penitentiary is, right? <laughs> but look, that's my guy. He's from Columbia. H. Cool. But look, on the other side, is an old head named Tony, head, uh, 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 Tony Ray. So when I get there, when you first get to the penitentiary, I don't care where you go, match clothes, you're still going to be looking out your door. You're going to be trying to be observing and see what's going on. See if you see anybody, you know, paying attention to the activity and all this, this, and that. So after a couple of days, what I noticed was Tony Ray on the left side of my cell, he was kind of a bullet to the police. You know what I'm saying? When Tony Ray got on that button, and, hey, 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 T.R., I need some talk. Them folk came in there and gave Tony Ray. What he wanted. He got on the door and the police came in the park. And he heard that. Boom. And he got on. Hey, 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 see y'all. Hey, I, I come up here hollering real quick. It's 12 sale. It's Tony Ray. He always said his name. When they said Tony Ray, hold on. Give me one second, Tony Ray. Hey, don't forget about me, man. Don't forget about me. They going to come up here and holler at Tony Ray. One day this man say, hey, see y'all, I need to get a shower. Oh, that's going to happen on the next shift. He said, man, it's Tony Ray, man. I need to get in the shower real quick. Hold on, Tony Ray, man. Let me holler at the captain real quick. See if I can let you out of the cell and get you a shower real quick. Somebody else get on the door. Hey, 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 CO. Hey, answer. Tony Ray, holler. Hey, 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 homie. Hey, homie. Hey, you need to mind your business, man. You need to mind your business for real, man. You need to mind your business, man. Everybody already know what's going on. So at this point, I come to the door. I'm looking out. I wanna, man, what, what's up with this dude right here? So they pop this man door. <clears throat> he come out of the cell, which I done seen he come out of the cell, you know what I'm saying? He got his shirt off. Oh head, oh head. He he one of them dudes. He 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 penitentiary official. You know what I'm saying? He 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 one of them. He come out, he got the penitentiary physique, you know what I'm saying? He walking a little bow leg and he taking his time. He get ready to go down the step. He come back up, forget something, go back in the cell, boom. Come back, hey, 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 Tony Ray, you a passive? Hey, hey, you need to get the rock man and do that, homie. I don't do none of that right there. I don't do none of that. Did that back in the day, homie. I don't do none. Hey, come on, man. I said what I said, say, man. No answer, no more, man. He go on to the shop. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm like, man, what's up with you right here? You can tell, though, if you done never did time anywhere, I don't care if it's the jail, juvie, Penitentiary. At this time, I ain't really done no penitentiary because I ain't been in general population. You don't know what general population is? And let me know you ain't never been to the penitentiary. If you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go. But from being in Northwest, the little time we did get out, just like on the streets, I'm observing of who's who. Who, who capable of what? Who the do boy? Who the move? Who, you know what I'm saying? Who got some power? Who got, you know what I'm saying? Who got some influence? Who don't? From watching this little bit of what I seen, Tony Ray strike me as one of them dudes who done came through the penitentiary, you know what I'm saying, done held down his own, probably ain't never been affiliated, but they know one thing for sure, two things for certain. He gonna bust you up, and the police done seen some of his work, and they know what Tony Ray say, hey, they know what time it is, so to, to, to avoid some commotion in the situation with Tony Ray, he end up getting his way. And that's normally how it is in the penitentiary. It is so crazy in the penitentiary. Not to say that you have to be a loud and always into something but the dudes who made the uh, uh, uh administration feel like they was a problem they would get their way it's the same way on the street it's the same way in relation. it's always the people who cause the most problem who are always having their way and that's how it was in pentin so we're going to wreck y'all we're going to wreck y'all they still got us in the cages on wreck y'all even on clothes you can't you know what i'm saying you ain't gonna be uh where where y'all you know what I'm saying? Can touch each other. None of that. You you in the cage. And when you're out in the cage, some cage is bigger than others. So whoever they come get first, nine times out of ten, they gonna get the bigger cage. You know what I'm saying? Really, it ain't nothing but a little more. You can stretch your legs and walk a little. You know what I'm saying? And they and they swap, they switch it up so everybody can get the chance to get the bigger cage. But Tony Ray always got the bigger cage because they you. Hey 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 hey, see y'all. Hey, need to grab me first, man. Grab me first. Go on, take me outside, man. Go on, take me outside. This man. Wait 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 a minute, man. I ain't saying nothing, though, because I, I I don't know what's up yet. So we go out on the wreck, y'all. They hit my door. 
They watching from the tower. You don't know what the tower is? They let me know. You ain't never been to the hole or the penitentiary. If you ain't never been to the hole or the penitentiary, I've had you to never go. So they watching as they don't pop the door. You go on out, you know what I'm saying? Close your door, pow. Walk on out, go outside. When you go outside, get in the cave, lock the cave, boom. They gonna let the next person out. So when I go out here, I'm in the cage beside Tony Ray. And if I'm gonna be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't scared. But he done already kind of set the tone of who is this dude, what he on. You don't know to speak. You, you speak to him out of respect, but you don't know to hold a conversation. Hey, what's up? You don't know to ask any kind of uh, 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 penitentiary guidance or none of that. You don't know what you're going to get from this dude. He, he just one of them characters. So, so as I'm out here walking, you know what I'm saying? He's like, man, where you, where, you, where you from, young blood? Where you from, young blood? And while he walking, you know what I'm saying? He walking. <sighs> He working out. I'm like, I'm from Springfield. He's like, I'm Springfield. Man, you know Bobby Mile, man. man. <laughs> he moving kind of quick with it. I said, yeah, 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 that's my cousin. He was like, yeah, man, that's my guy, man. He was like, man, what about Jewel? <laughs> you know Jewel Smith? <laughs> Light-skinned dude, man. Used to wear the tail. Used to wear the tail back in the day all the way down the back. Yeah, that's my cousin, too. I was real. I said, yeah, I'm double kid to do it. Jump. Double kid, what they down there sleeping with? They down there sleeping with their family down there? I said, yeah. He said, man, I know another cat. I said, man, what's up with dude? He said, man, I know another cat out there, man. Real tall dude, big dude. Kind of scratchy voice. I said, man, uh, what they call him, Terry, Terry? I said, Terry Fell. He said, yeah, big big Terry Fell, man. Big Terry Fell. I said, yeah, I know Terry Fell. He said, yeah, man, that was my guy, man. Good people, man. He go upside your head, man. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know them cats, man. I know them cats. He was like, oh, that was up. That was up. He was like, where you, where you coming from? Where you come from? I see you come in a couple, a couple days ago. I said, man, I came out classification. He said, dang, they put you on clothes right out classification? I was like, yeah, yeah. You know, I was on a, I had escaped out of the jail. You know what I'm saying? Before I even took my time, they had me on, oh, they had you on safekeeping in it. Yeah. I mean, I was on max before with a guy. You know what I'm saying? His kind of accepting down there. They had him down there on safekeeping and stuff like that. He was like, man, this right here, this is a cakewalk down here. Turn to something like cakewalk. This ain't no real penitentiary, man. This ain't no real penitentiary. I said, hey, what's up with that dude? This ain't no real penitentiary right here. You know what I'm saying? Brushing down back in the day. You know what I'm saying? North, Northwest, you know what I'm saying? It was Thunderdome all that right there, right? He was like, yeah, 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 they, man, they got me back here. I'm finna get ready to get off, though. <laughs> Gotta get ready, man. These young dudes out here. <laughs> they come in here, they be thinking they, you know what I'm saying? They, they gonna get the right one, mess with Tony Ray. I ain't, <clears throat> I ain't gonna play with them. <laughs> I said, man, is this a threat? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what you, what young dude? I'm young. Then he's talking about, I'm sitting here watching this dude bust all these moves. He was like, yeah, man, I end up back here. They moved one of these little young cats in my cell, right? I had already moved out like three, four of them. You know what I'm saying? What's your name again? Joe T. Oh, yeah, what's up? Joe T, Joe T, Tony Ray. Tony Ray, nice to meet you, Joe T. Yeah, they moved one of them little young dudes in my cell, man. And, uh, you know, I tell them, man, if you need something, you know what I'm saying? I break bread with him and anything, right? <laughs> break bread with him. You know what I'm saying? I go to the shower one day, I hit a oh, 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 oh. I been know that the little young young cat ain't had no shower on, had no soap on his hygiene here, yeah, right? Been noticed that, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't, you know, closed mouth don't get fed, you know what I'm saying? You a grown man up in this thing. You a grown man, you gotta get it how you live, you got to live off the land. You don't know how to live off the land, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna talk to yourself. Ain't no it ain't my none of my business ain't hey sell I've been noticed the last couple days, you know what I'm saying? You got no shot. You ain't got no you ain't got no soap, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's up, how you take a shower. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe he had it in his laundry bag. He had it in his laundry bag at the bottom. You don't know. I don't, you don't ever know what they do. <laughs> Is he going? What's up with that <laughs> So check this out. So he was like, man, so I get out of the shower, right? I get out of the shower and the soap I had, you know what I'm saying? I don't sit it up, sit it up on my on my shelf. I've been locked up a long time. I ain't it's too loud and like it, but I can tell when something been moved, right? So I set my soap up there. I set my soap up there, you know what I'm saying? My said to go in, boom. he one of them crib, he roll, he roll them 20 right. So he go in, boom, boom, he bust down for the shower, homeboys, you know what I'm saying? They come out, boom, they take him to the shower or whatever. While he in the shower, I'm already knowing they ain't gonna be, I ain't trying to run into no issues, so I ain't gonna be sitting in the cell when they come in there talking about, hey, we gotta get cuz or whatever, whatever, you need to step out the cell. He was like, man, so I step in the cell. When I step in the cell, right, my soap dish, you know what I'm saying? My soap dish had been moved. So I look at my soap dish. My soap gone out my soap dish. So he popped the soap dish open, closed it back up like it's like the soap was still in there, right? So I'm like, man, little young dude right here, man. So he get out of the shower. 
I let them put his clothes on, break down. I'm finna go in here. I'm I'm level man, level man. I'm finna just go in here and talk to him, right? So I go in the cell. I tap on the door and anything. We both live in there. I, 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 hey, Sally, you good? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm straight, cub. I pop the door. I, I, I walk on in. I say, he said, man, I need to holler at you real quick. And when I say, you know what I'm saying, I close the door. And when I say it, you know what I'm saying, he was putting on his shoes. He was like, what you need to holler at me about, cub? And when he say that, you know what I'm saying, it's the tone, you know what I'm saying, dramatic effect me, please. Yeah, he got a little aggressive. He's like, what you need to holler at me about? What you need to holler at me about, cub? He said, man, uh, look, we both grown, right? So he said, man, I'm going to talk to him like a man, Joe T. You know what I'm saying? I said, man, we both grown, right? He was like, yeah, yeah. I said, we put our pants on one leg at a time the same way, right? He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's, what's going on with you, though? What's going on? What's up, huh? He was like, man, uh, look, check this out. So, said, if you needed some soap, you could have just asked me. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, what, what you talking about? I said, look, let me, let me tell you something. Been, been penitentiary a long time. You know what I'm saying? Him, Joe T, man, I'm trying to sit here talk to this. So I'm only telling you this, you know what I'm saying? Because, look, when you get out here, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you ever did this time before. So, now, nah, I ain't did nothing. You get out. You, you worried everything. You worried everything, man. And then, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and being upfront and honest, you know what I'm saying? Get your long way in the penitentiary. Get your long way in the penitentiary. Whether you're affiliated or not. Whether you're affiliated or not. So, when the dude say, what you talking about? I know he was going to make it like he ain't just used my soap. So I was like, shit, when your homeboy took you to the shower, you know what I'm saying? I came in here and noticed, you know what I'm saying? I popped my soap. Man, my soap gone. You know what I'm saying? Now that you in here, I look, my soap is in here. So, send it. if you need some soap, you can, hey, man, you ain't talking about nothing. You ain't talking about nothing, cuz, cuz. I don't need nothing from you, cuz. And they try to buck me in there, Joe T. And then, as I'm talking, you know what I'm saying? I try to school him a little bit, right? I try to look out for the little young cat. I was like, man, look, man, I ain't tripping. He talking about, man, you ain't talking about nothing. Watch out, Sidney. When he say, watch out, I don't move, he kind of bumped me. So I, I put the forearm up on him, Joe T. I put the forearm up, like, man, what's up? He was like, man, watch out, cuz. When he say that, I, pow, I hit him one time. When I hit him, Joe T, I'm already knowing, look, I'm already knowing, right? I'm already knowing when I hit him, how, how he responded, he, he wasn't expecting that. Probably because he affiliated. Then he probably, ready, he probably ready to yell for his homeboys too, right? So I'm waiting to see what he gonna do, cause I'm I'm ready for whatever. I done been in plenty of situations. You know, I've been in plenty of situations. And then when I walk in here, I close the door. It, it ain't jammed it, it ain't jammed up. So if it go down and you get there yelling for your homeboys, the only thing they gonna get to do is watch me slaughter you through the window. You know? You call them over here like like they like you need some help. I'm gonna go ahead and let them see me slaughter you through the window. I ain't even tripping on none of them. Been in plenty of them situations. And then we'll have to wait for the, for the police to get over here. You know what I'm saying? To come and get us. Yeah, I ain't tripping on none of that, Joe T. So when he bumped me, I hit him with the forearm. And he, pow, I hit it. When I hit it, he talking about, oh, you got me messed up. He tried to square up with me, Joe T. He tried to square up with me. I ain't even finna go for none of that. I ain't even finna square up. I just hit you. You're supposed to say, you're supposed to go right in. So when he square up, I said, man, you don't want to fight. You don't want to fight, young. You don't want to fight, young blood. You don't want to fight. He go to swing. I swing. I two piece. Pop, pop. When I two piece him, he, he fall back on the wild. I grab back up. Fire, fire, fire. I'm pulling his shirt at the same time. He hitting Joe. I'm fire, pop, pop, pop. I said, I said, what's up? What's up, with, what's up with Tony Ray? Tony, Tony Ray a little crazy, ain't it? So, <laughs> so by the time I knock him out, right? Man, everybody know what's up with me in the park, man. They know I, 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 ain't, I ain't starting nothing, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to finish it, right? So I come out in the park. I pop the door. The homeboy here done knocked out. I come out in the park. Hey, hey, man. Y'all homeboy just disrespected me in the cell, man. I took care of my business, man. You know, it is what it is, but I ain't, you know. I ain't trying to be disrespectful, none. I just figured I'd come on out and go and let y'all know what's going on. Look, homeboy disrespect, like he's just gonna be going in my stuff and using my stuff. I try to be, man, what, what's up with Cub, man? What's up with Cub? Tony, Tony said, I squared up and said, man, I'm just trying to be honest, man. You know, the little, the little, the little cat trapped me. You know what I'm saying? I, they, I took care of my business, like a man. They go in there and see the homeboy knocked out. They go in there, man, come, come on, Cub. Get up, cuz. Get up, cuz. You gotta move in the cell one of the homeboys, cuz. So they get him out of the cell. He move in the cell one of the homeboys, whatever. That that how I end up back here, right, Joe T. <laughs> I said, I 
And I, I said, okay, okay, okay. I said, well, let me start going. Let me go and get my hands ready for one of these, one, one, one of these old heads try me in the try me in the unit, right? So I get to the pit, I get on the compound. Tony Ray had got out before me. He on the bottom of the hill. I run across him about about six, how many ever months later, he come to the top of the hill. At the time, I'm dealing with a situation. I got the phone at the time. One of the guys come to the city. Pop, pop, pop. Hey, Joe, Joe T. Man, I need to holler at you real quick, bro. Man, GB the reason, bro. Come, come on, come on in, bro. He pop. Man, bless his head. What you got going on, G? I said, man, I ain't doing nothing. He closed the door. Doom. I said, man, I ain't doing He said, man, bro. Oh. Man, bro, bro. Oh. I think bro going through something right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I'm like, who? He was like, man, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro just got on the phone. When, you know what I'm saying, went in the cell, you know what I'm saying? And when he went in the cell, you know what I'm saying? One of the guys went over and checked on him. He got the arm with one of the guys. I don't know what's really going on, but I know y'all type, you know what I'm saying? You go over and holler at him, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? See what's going on with, bro. You know what I'm saying? MB. I said, I'll go over and holler at him. I'll go over and holler at him. So I come out of the cell, right? Pow. I walk over. Pow, pow, pow. Hey, MB. Hey, bro. Don't tell me how let you. I'll come on in, bro. Pow. Man, bless his head, man. Bro, bro, what's going on? Man, bro. Bro, get the crack. I said, man, what's up, bro? He walked up to me. He was like, bro, ain't hug me. You know what I'm saying? When he hugged me, at this point, if I ain't knowing exactly what to do. Like, I'm, I'm conflicted within myself. But I'm seeing whatever it is, it's personal enough to him, he, he vulnerable. And in a penitentiary, you really can't do that. You can't do it. And on that end, I feel like I can't even be the show he needs. I, I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm knowing I need to, but at the same time, wonder, okay. I'm like, what's up? I'm like, what's up? I'm like, bro, what, what's up, man? He was like, man, bro. Bro, he was like, bro, I need to get on the phone, bro. I said, man, hold on. I said, let me go grab the phone real quick. So I go, I go grab the phone, come back in. Boom. I'm like, you need some privacy? You good? He was like, nah, bro. He was like, bro, just watch the door for me. So I was like, that was like, give him the horn. I'm watching the door. I look out the window, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, you good? He get on the phone. His child mama done OD and packed. So they trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying, where his kids is going. He got two kids. You know what I'm saying? So I'm listening to the conversation. And at this point, I'm like, man, hey, this get real. This get serious, like, real quick. Like, you don't realize when you go to the penitentiary, like, people don't stop passing away. And you don't never know who it is. A lot of time when you get locked up or you go away, you're only thinking like the older people you connect to might pass. You might not get to see them again. You're not thinking it's going to be your kids, mama, your kids, or your, your pet. You're like, you ain't really. You think man, my granny and granddaddy might not make it, you know, but I'm going to get home and see everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Your friend. Man, you don't know who the devil done tapped on who show. So I'm sitting, I'm looking out the window. I'm like, dang. Like that, that's pretty heavy. So we get off the phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to him. He's talking back. We conversing. We having a whole little conversation. You know what I'm saying? He just expressing, you know what I'm saying? Because this is the girl. He always talking about how he cared about her. He loved her. This, this, and that. And it was a dude she was dealing with who, because I had let him use the phone a couple times. They done got the fighting here and there. He done jumped on them, blacked the eyes. She done sent the picture. He done tried to send the guys over there and this, this, and that. And then, listen to me. I don't care who you think you are, who you may think you know when you in a penitentiary. When certain things happen on the street, what you going to realize is something I realized when I was in the cell with my dad and I wrote this poem called Losing My Powers. At some point, you're going to realize you ain't strong in the paint like you thought. You're going to realize you out of sight, out of mind. Them people don't care. And them people, listen to me, ain't nobody going to help take care of your kid. And if something like this happened, guess what? Your family, uh, majority of your family ain't, ain't nobody finna step with you. You're going to realize real quick how you done took certain things for granted and how real it get. So at this point, I'm just like, so I don't even really know what to say, bro. You know what I'm saying? So a couple of days go by, you know what I'm saying? Tony, Tony Ray, Tony Ray done moved in the unit, right? He come up behind me. Joe T, man, what's up, man? I need, I need, let me get a shot of, let me hold a shot of coffee, man. To the store day, you know what I'm Store day in two days, man. Store gonna run, man. Get my car of coffee. Let me hold a shot of coffee, man. You know I gotta have, you know I gotta have that mug. You know I gotta, so I give him a little shot of coffee, right? He, man, how is it up here? He's still throwing these hands. I 
I said, all right, straight up, just laid back up here. Yeah, yeah, they said it was laid back up here, man. They had one of them officers down there, didn't like me, you know what I'm saying? He back there on close. I ran him off from back there. Man, they had him in the unit, you know what I'm saying? So I, I let the cat told cat, man, get me up here. He was like, yeah, they said it's pretty chill up here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I give him the mug. He was like, oh, that what's up? Appreciate that. He said, man, I got you. I said, man, I don't even drink coffee. I use that for other, you know what I'm saying, to swap out of him. I was, you know, I got you, don't jump to you, man. You know, I got you. He leave on out of the cell. A day or so go by. The brother who child mama passed away. If you want to hear the rest of his story, you're going to have to go get your membership. If you can't find the membership, jump in the comment section and say, I need the link to the membership. And I got you. And I got you. Or you can just go to the description. Pow. And there it is right there. I went and checked on the building that they got what they build on the sale right now. It's probably going to be done. I'm going to go get a video in a minute and let you see. So look, so the brother who had lost his child mama fighting a homie case too. He got a life sentence. So he tried to go to the library one day. They ain't letting him go to the library. He missed He missed the library call. He still trying to go so he can fight his case. Another time he get on the phone, he can't get no answer. So it's a whole lot of frustration built up when him, he comes to the cell, pop, pop, pop. Hey, Joe T, man, I need to holler at you real quick, bro. Let me holler at you real quick. I said, it was a, come on, come on in, bro. He, pop, man, bless his head. He be like, man, bro, bro, I need to use the phone, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even come up and bother you like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I just need to use the phone real quick. I need to make a couple of calls. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. He was like, bro, I ain't even got to leave to say I can do it right here. I said, oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I get the phone. I'm like, what's up? You, you need some bread? Nah, bro. Just, just watch the door. So I'm watching the door. He get on the phone. He talking. And while he talking, he find out his little brother got hit. But he don't pay. He find out his little brother done got hit. In the hip again, he like, man, I don't know how much more I can of this I can take, man. And then he say, man, y'all make me not even want to call home. Like, I be wanting to call home and check on y'all. He was from Memphis. I be wanting to call home and check on y'all, man. But it seemed like every time I call, like everybody got, like somebody got something going on. Somebody needs some help with something. Somebody done passed away. Somebody done shot, man. It's just somebody done got shot. Man, it's like every time I call home, like it's making my time harder, which is true. A lot of people quit calling home on the strip club. They trying to do their time. And when you call on, when you trying to live on the streets in the penitentiary, it's hard on your mental. Because I'm gonna tell you something, especially if you are moving or shaking the penitentiary, if you're making money, you will have people calling and asking you from, for stuff and you sitting in a cell. So he calling, he talking to somebody, he already talking about he finna help them do this and help them do that, get them about a week, and then that's a did you, I'm sorry about your brother. What you mean, my brother? Man, your brother got, man, dude, what? He just, man, bro got all this pent up frustration. He get off the phone, man, bro, I appreciate that, man. He shake my hand and he hugged me. And when he hugged me this time, I went on, I hugged him back. I was like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, it's going to be all right. I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? If you need to holler, you need to vent, you know what I'm saying? You need to get something off your chest, you know what I'm saying? Come up here and holler at me. And when I say that to him, he got light on me. Like he just leaned on Like he just leaned in on me. He was like, yo, T. He was like, man, I got a life sentence, bro. He was like, I got a life sentence. He was like, bro, I ain't got nobody. He like, I appreciate you letting me get on the phone. He be like, my kids are trying to figure out this situation with my kids. I don't even know what's going on with me, bro. I already know how he lives. I don't even want to call and hear it because I already know it's going to be, man, can you call such and such? They're going to be, he like, Joe T, man. I appreciate it. And he get up. I was like, he walk out of the cell. I'm sitting in here. When he walk out the cell, I'm sitting in the cell like, Man, that's heavy, you know, because I hadn't, I only had one person pass away when I was in penitentiary, and that was my last two years. That was my granny, my great granny. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, like, I didn't have no friends, family member, like, nobody got sick, nobody got, like, and I'm grateful and thankful for that. You know what I'm saying? But it was several times I watched dude get off the blue box. Commercial break me, please. Get off the blue box. You don't know what the blue box is? Let me know you ain't never been to the penitentiary. You ain't never been to the penitentiary. I advise you to never go. Get off the collect phone running a sale. And you know, you know what I'm saying? It's because you don't want to break in front of everybody. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or you see somebody lose it right in front of everybody. So these two situations happen in the same day. The next day come is supposed to be commissary. Commissary running a little late. When commissary finally hit, the store men looking to get paid, the people who who been coming to get stuff because they try to get high, 
and they owe people, they looking to get paid. People ready to just swap stuff. Commissary day is a hectic day. Like it's a lot of transactions and movements going on on Sto day. So Sto running late. Sto running late. The brother MD, MB, somebody owed him. Somebody owed him some, I can't remember what it is. Somebody owed him. So MB go and holler at them and tell and ask them about the store. They tell MB, man, I can't do nothing till the commissary get here. I don't know, I don't know exactly what we're going, but him and MB get the argument. Him and MB, <laughs> when they get the argument, luckily this dude wasn't because he probably would have turned into something. This dude wasn't affiliated. He wasn't doing it because this dude wasn't affiliated. He was neutral, like he was good people. This dude, man, him and MB get the they get they get into a scuffle. MB chokes him out. Why he choking him out? They come and tell me that MB done got into it with the dude down here in the cell. They come and get me. Hey, Joe T, Joe T, GB the reason, bro. GB, come on, come on, come on, rip. I really don't want to bust no move. He was like, man, MB done snapped out. MB done snapped out. So when he say that, I come out of the cell. Boom, boom. I come down. I'm like, man, what's up? What's going on? They were like, man, MB done snapped out on dude, and they choke him out. He won't let him go. I'm like, what? He won't. I'm not finna go in there, man. This might be a body. So, what? so I come out of the cell. I tap. They were like, man, bro, go in there, tell him, bro, he gotta let him go. So when I tap on the door, I say, MB is Joe T. He said, man, it's over, bro. It's over, right? So man, pop the door, man. He said, man, it's over. He said, I. When I pop the door, two of the brothers behind me, we go in. He got the dude. He he read. He got the dude stealing. He's sitting on the stool and got the dude in the chokehold. I said, bro, you got to let him go, bro. Like, bro, I grabbed his hand. I'm like, bro, you got to let him go. MB looking at me. I'm looking at him. We looking at each other. He about to cry. This this ain't even about him. This this ain't even about that. This about everything that he done been having going on. He frustrated about. I grabbed his arm. Let him go. Dude falls on the ground. One of the brothers come in. They run some water. And he had like a big, a, a, the bigger bowls. They run some, some cold water on the bowl. Throw it on. He jumps up. They grab another bottle. I grab, I said, man, come on up out of the cell, bro. We get out of the cell. I go up and walk. We go to my cell. We go in my cell. I said, man, bro, what's up? He said, man, bro, I'm tired, John T, man. I'm tired, bro. He's like, man, bro, I can't do this no more, bro. Bro, I'm tired, bro. And at this point, I start hearing the CO say, lock down, lock down. Y'all, everybody lock down. Commissary ain't ringing. Tony Ray ain't had his coffee. This, I done just had to straighten out this situation. Tony Ray done went and got a cup of coffee from somebody to hold him over until the stove come. The dude, the officer is messing with the vice lord who called himself, guess, called himself trying to take up for the girl. Because he telling everybody to lock down. She telling everybody to lock down. Tony Ray gets that last shot of coffee to hold him over until the stove. He go to the coffee, he go to the, to the microwave, boom. Hit the microwave. The officer saying everybody locked down. Tony Ray standing right there. The vice lord hollering, hey, man, you need to get in your set. Go, hey, hey, oh, come on, come on, bro. See, that's the problem right there. Everybody want to do something last minute, bro. Y'all already heard, man. She get the trip and everybody going to be like, it's her, man, bro. How you going, bro? Go. Tony Ray act like he don't even hear the man. So we walk, we walking out of the cell, and I'm still talking to bro. You know, the bro on the bottom wall, I'm like, bro, man, to come for a holler at me. He was like, man, bro, I appreciate that. He pat me twice on the back. I don't know what that means. I just didn't feel right. I said that was up. I don't know if that was a goodbye. He was gonna go and do something to his, or sell it. I, I don't know. So he walk on down the stairs, and at this point, I'm seeing the vice lord. He walk over, and he like, man, you act like you don't hear me talking. He hit the microwave. <laughs> He hit the microwave, Tony Ray closed the microwave. He was like, man, what you doing, young blood? He was like, man, bro, everybody got locked down, bro. We ain't trying to be locked down no longer. He was like, man, you gonna have to just drink, go ahead and drink that. I'm looking like, oh, he tripping. Only thing I seen was the wreck, y'all. He, <laughs> he was like, man, come on, watch out, young blood. He hit the button, right? <sighs> he hit the button, dude, like, he tried to, he snatched the microwave, grabbed Tony Ray cup. Tony Ray, he was like, man, who, who, what you think you got going on, young blood? But at this point, he dropped Tony Ray cup of coffee on the ground. Before the coffee cup hit the ground and bounced, Tony Ray, I'm talking about cock, bah, hit him, boom. The cup bounced off the ground. The cup bounced. The coffee spilled out. Tony Ray catched the cup with his hand. Dude come back up and hit him again. Bah, 
He was like, man, what you got going on? He was like, man, I don't know who homeboy this is, man. But y'all need y'all better come get him. The dude, the second time he hit him, he slipped, he slipped on the cough. He slipped on the coffee and fall down. Tony Ray hold his cup, walking towards his cell. He said, man, I don't know who, 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 who homeboy. They were like, hold on, what's going on? Hold up, what's up, man? What's up? They were like, man, dude tripping, man. Dude, he was like, nah, dude tripping. He was like, man, dude ran it. By this time, old head, Rasta, Muslim, so they were like, nah, man, that was your brother, man. Y'all need to take that up with your brother. They come down. You're like, man, that was my last shot of coffee, man. I'm trying to wait for snow day, man. You're like, man, y'all can go and come up here. To, to, <laughs> to Ross said, man, I got you a shot of coffee, man. Go. On. The CO said, yeah, somebody get him a shot of coffee. Somebody get him a shot of coffee. It, it ain't that serious. It really ain't that serious. Y'all just go ahead and lock down because it really ain't that serious. I said, it is that serious in here. Penitentiary rules is in effect. 